Okay, a modern beauty queen for me is someone who is confident of herself. Um, someone who's not afraid to speak up her mind and someone who's, um, who doesn't need to conform on what society dictates her to be. I hope like right now, um, they are more perceived as someone that is more approachable and more true to themselves because sometimes they think that if you're a beauty queen, parang you have to set a certain standard for you to be able to be one. But in reality, no, you just have to be confident and to be who you are. I guess that's the most important thing. Yeah, someone who's not afraid to show who, who she is. Most of the time, you're just afraid to show yourself. But in reality, you just have to be confident. I'm thankful with the social media just by checking social media every day. Like there's always some fashion, um, fashion stuff that na, na I encounter ko every day. So that really helps a lot. Wearing a nice underwear. Look. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I guess it helps, you know. But <laughs> that's where the confidence starts when you know deep inside you, ang ganda ng suot ko. <laughs> so I guess, yeah. <laughs> Something that won't complement my body. In fashion naman, di ba? Things we wear are those um, fashion na talagang would complement you, yourself, your personality, and your body. Eh, so, ako, when I think na it's not my personality or it doesn't complement my body, it's something that I won't wear. A modern beauty queen is someone who's not afraid to speak her mind. Um, and she knows her position in the society. That's why she's very mindful of what she does. They're not very restricted to what the old beauty queens are defined. Because right? before, when you say beauty queen, you have to be prim and proper all the time. But now, they have their own stand. Whatever's in their mind, they say it. I would like to see a beauty queen who is passionate with what she does, who knows how to appreciate everything around her. To be honest, I'm not somebody who's always up to date. But of course, Call of Duty, I have to be mindful of what's new and what's hot, diba? Right? So, of course, I try to look over the social medias and check out what's in. <laughs> In terms of dressing up, a beauty queen must always have with her heels, a pair of heels. There's something with heels that gives you authority. I mean, you feel like a real beauty queen whenever you're in heels. Well, I think I can wear anything naman. Maybe the question is more of if I can wear it in public or not. Yeah, because I'm also a model aside from being a beauty queen. So, part of my job to wear stuff, but public, mm, well, not so sure about that. <laughs> A modern beauty queen is someone who knows how to have fun, yet still be dedicated to her work and still be a role model. I don't think much change is needed. It's not a surprise on, on how women are able to present themselves nowadays. Uh, women before may be reserved. Women now are more competitive. They can speak their mind, really confident. I want to see someone who is true to herself, a fighter, and someone who speaks her truth. Social media world, after all. So you just, um, I just research online, time to time, and update my look. One thing they should never let go is a good, trusted, and comfortable heel. You have to walk, glide, and stand up for hours. So you need a good one. 
it's something I would never wear, but um, outside my house, I would never wear flip flops. <laughs> In terms of Beauty Queen makeup, is the highlighter. It highlights the, the cheek, the nose, and some part of the face na tatamaan ng ilaw. Maybe by following what the trend now, like yung, yung highlighter, or kung sa body naman yung like um, voluptuous or skinny, kung ano yung latest trend. I think it's the heavy makeup. Nowadays, uh, among the beauty queens, uh, they look like um, sila talaga yung dari, parang enhancement lang ng beauty nila. Uh, for today's shoot, uh, the overall styling was all about uh, giving the queens a modern take. More of a, a meetup between still a glamorous beauty queen and a fashion model. Even with the hair and makeup, uh, we changed it, it up a bit. So it's not the usual na parang glamorous hairstyle. I think it's always necessary for beauty queens to update, not just with the dress or with their styles. It's best for them to update uh, and be educated also with the latest trends. So we got Filipino designers like Albert Andrada, Francis Viran, and Anthony Ramirez. I think we have to put the super set curly hair. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't look good, but I think there are many other hairstyles to wear in a beauty pageant.